the 66 times champions feel an unchanged side from the epic comeback against Ross Gray. They are captained by Charlie Rocket's scrum half. Peter Quirk is at 10. Gary Ringrose in the centre has been in brilliant form from the kicking tee. A big test for him today. In the pack, Nick Timoney at eight is a real threat, but all eight have showed great form in the earlier rounds. The front row of Jeremy Lockman, Tom Cook and Oliver Yeager will have a serious battle up front. St. Michael's are also unchanged and are captained by Ross Maloney in the second row. The St. Michael's front row have looked strong at scrum time and also in the loose. Charlie Cregan, Alex Penny and Josh Murphy in the back row have been outstanding. In the back line, Nick McCarthy and Ross Byrne will, have to, will look to control the game from behind the scrum. They both scored tries in the semi-final, as did the very lively winger Mikey O'Hare. A nervous spell for the two sets of replacements, wondering when the call will come. Dane Fitzpatrick and Jack Twan were used to great effect by Black Rock in the win over Ross Gray, both scoring a late try. Referee just looking for a wide channel between the two sides. Ball dropped to the ground, bounce forward, I think that's okay. Yeah, referee allowing it to continue, Black Rock with possession. A little miss move in midfield, didn't open up the defence. Tackler not releasing though, penalty. The left hand side as he's looking at it, sends the kick on its way, got under it slightly. It has the distance though, has the direction. Great start for Black Rock College. Fist in the air from the supporters. Black Rock are marshalling him well so far. Ball moved out a bit quicker now. Is there a chance here? Gilson and gets the ball away to the fullback. Keen Keller is stopped five metres out. This is a good response from St. Michael's. Can they turn it into points? Little step from Ross Byrne just couldn't get away. Held by the ankle by Jeremy Lockman. Here's the ball again. Try surely. St. Michael's are in for the first try. While it was coming in, well finished in the end. Fantastic moves and good lines of running, and that's what a line of running is. He picked exactly where the space was, and he ran 100% out of that space, and it was coming all the time. Look at that, running straight through the two men. One of the places around that is that's pillar A, B, and, and, and the A man here stepping in on the scrum half. And fantastic try, great line of running. Well, Ross Maloney playing the captain's role, gets the first score for St. Michael's. That's him, having a well-earned drink of water. He was involved with several carries in that passage of play. And seems to be the go-to man for St. Michael's in the early encounters. And that, it's just the, the choice of the line of running. As we watch this, Ross Byrne surely will tap this one over. In-step kick safely off the tee and through the uprights. St. Michael's respond quickly and they have the lead. Touch set! Good refereeing from Sean Gallagher, just a few words to the front rows. The ball away quickly from St. Michael's. Ross Byrne moves it on to Gilson and Keith Gallagher in the line. Once again, Black Rock saw the danger. This is Josh Murphy, the number eight, tackled by his opposite number. There's an intercept, break away, can Black Rock make it all the way? Shirley Blackrock have got a score in the corner! Ring Rose gets in! Wow, what a turnaround! I'm not sure how the steal happened, but the Blackrock support have gone wild. Ring Rose will have to catch his breath for the kick for the extra two points. There's the tackle. Ring Rose ripped it himself and peeled away. Great pace for a centre. Fantastic finish. Really was. King Gallagher, a bit silly coming in on the knees like that. Hate to see that. I've seen some injuries throughout the, the seasons with this knees like that. Well, this is possibly his most difficult place kick so far in the final. Well out. He's caught it well enough. Has it got the direction? It has indeed. Another little moment of magic from Gary Ringrose. I'll tell you what, that could be so vital. And the final whistle is blown. That is a huge kick. So Michaels has gone for the corner. Maloney rises. Good release in the line out. Blackrock defending him a little bit better on this occasion. Here comes a second shove from St. Michaels. Edging infield, but edging back, back towards back, back, that try line as well. On they drive. That's one half. The referee tells McCarthy it's been stopped once. McCarthy moves the ball to Byrne. Little miss move. It's on. Space surely here. Kelleher, two against one, nothing at all that Lee Moji could do about that. And St. Michael's have their second try. Perfectly executed, well deserved, it was coming. 
they probably needed a bit of justice after Penny. I know it was perfectly legal that Blackrock hold up. They've been knocking on the door and it's just open for them. Fantastically executed try. And where all that space, you're looking out there, you're going, where did that space come from out there? And that be, that's because the mall was so good. It held up for a long time. Players had to step in in defence and therefore there has to be space somewhere else on the pitch. And it's always out wide. Really well done. Burn. Can he make amends for the miss a few minutes ago? Same side of the pitch, the last one, though, a much more difficult angle. This one, 16 metres in from the touchline. Aims for the far post on this occasion. That was very, very confident indeed. Just curled back inside the post. What a game. There's the ball for St. Michael's. A little pick and drive. Takes St. Michael's a metre or two closer. Burn had to stretch for that one. Good work by Alex Penny. Pinned the ball to his hip and kept going. Burn's passing option was cut off a little slip, but he's done well. On St. Michael's go, wriggle away from the tackles. Six metres short of the line now. This is the hooker, Richie Allen. Allen unable to wriggle his way through. Burn. Goes short to Coulson. Well, Coulson has powered over seven. for a try already this season. Unable to get through on that occasion. St. Michael's have another little drive at the line. They're held up. Can they move the ball out? Black, Black Rock, Black, Black Rock, them quickly. The whistle is gone. 13. They're chasing the ball. This one can't. The crowd are roaring. Sean Gallagher has blown the whistle. I'll tell you what, that could be a game changer. What a tackle. It looked okay on first play. 13. Offside. Referee was obviously there and he spotted the offside, but look at the speed off the line here. Brilliant tackle because the right right shoulder there by Ringrose gets the ball down onto the ground. Look at the speed off the line. Perfectly done. First penalty kick for Byrne into this end. Has he curled it through the uprights? He has indeed. Excellent penalty from Ross Byrne when it was needed, partly by St. Michael's. McCarthy, out to Maloney. Maloney sends up a steepling up and under. It's coming down outside the 22. This could be a penalty. Yeah, Black Rock player was ahead of the knockoff. It's always a really tough decision. That's very, very hard to be disciplined in that situation. You know, you, you, you practice reactionary stuff the whole time as forwards in particular, working on it, particularly your front rows, you work on your reactions. The ball goes on the ground, you're down on it as soon as you can. And here, we saw Lockman, he was, all he was doing was reacting to it. That's what's facing the St. Michael's number 10 as this one curled inside the post. You can tell by the roar of the crowd that it has indeed. Mikey O'Hare gets back. That's Ross Byrne on his shoulder. Byrne sends up another steepling one. Black Rock, a little bit of confusion, let the ball bounce. It's bobbling around, it's gone forward, maybe not. Here comes Coughlin into a bit of space. Good sidestep from Coughlin. The Black Rock players rush up and support. Can they move the ball wide quickly? And it goes to Lawton. And wide is Timoney. Somehow St. Michael's get across the ball. Magically kept in play. A little scoop back through the legs. It's still Black Rock. Rock gives it to Timoney. Takes a couple of tacklers. Little pick and drive here. No way through for Fitzpatrick. Now the men wide here, they go through the hands, they must score! Kearns gets it out to the fullback, Power! And Power touches down in the corner! Brilliant, brilliant finish from the fullback! And the Black Rock supporters go wild at the audience! They came back late, late, late against Ross Gray. How have they done it again today against St. Michael's in the final? Here we see it again, Aidan. Fantastic work, and Jack Bauer, the man who started it all, get paying dividends for him in the end, and deserved try scorer. He did all the damage from some really lax kicking from Michaels. He ran onto that ball at extreme pace, got the offline, and Coughlin 
That man we talked about all day, he was a key player in this game. And when he got space, he took full advantage of it. Half a metre in from the touchline. Kick is on its way. It looks good. It looks good. It's over. What about that from Gary Ringers? When his skill needed it most, he sends it through the uprights from the touchline. The Black Rock supporters, despite the rain, are going absolutely bananas at the audience. Referee tells Black Rock to use it. They don't want to give away a penalty stupidly now. Black Rock. Charlie Rock, their captain. He hooks it into the crowd. Touch judges flag is raised. Sean Gallagher plays the final whistle, and that man, Charlie Rock, has brought the cup back to Black Rock. What an amazing game, Aiden. And what an amazing campaign. We've seen some unbelievable games in this campaign leading up to this, and it could not have been scripted better. Two of the best teams in the, coming to the final, and what a final we saw as well. Every moment thrilling, and an epic encounter like it always was going to be. I'm here with a winning captain, uh, Charlie Rock, and his coach, Peter Smith. Charlie, I'll go to you first of all. Uh, you left it late in the semi-final, you left it late again today. This Black Rock team don't win easy, do they? No, no, I mean, I'm still, I'm still in shock. I can't, I can't, I don't know what to say. I mean, the boys, we've been working so hard all year, especially on our fitness, strength and conditioning. I mean, it, it proved in the semi-final and it proved again today. So I'm absolutely delighted. I couldn't have asked for anything more. We were 16-14 up at half time, but the conditions changed drastically in the second half. What was the message at that stage? Well, you know, we had to had to take the conditions into account. We just uh, thought we'd hang on to the ball, play, play in, their, in their parts of the pitch and just try and grind the, grind the wind down. So. How tough was it to play out there? Oh, no, the, I mean, the weather it really hit hard late in the second half. We really had to dig deep. I mean, there was a few tired bodies out there. We, we stuck it out and got the win, so I'm delighted. Good on you, Charlie. We bring in your head coach, Peter Smith, here. Peter uh, mentioned the conditions there. Obviously, that was a, a big factor. Is it fair enough to say that St. Michael's adapted to that a bit quicker than yourselves? Yeah, I think so. Their use of the ball was very good and their kicking game was very good. And I mean, they're an excellent side. They're an absolutely excellent side. And uh, I know they're disappointed now, but they had a great final as well. Peter, well done today. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Thank you. Here comes Charlie Rock. What a moment for the young scrum half. Black Rock College for the Leinster School Senior Cup Champions 2013.